Hi, I'm Chef John Maxwell, and I'm here at Meadow Hall at the Meadow Event Park in Doswell, Virginia. And we're going to be playing with some great spring vegetables. It is actually my favorite vegetable. It's beets. And uh, some time ago, I got invited to go to Moscow for the Department of, Virginia Department of Agriculture to help market some products. And the whole time I was over there, everybody wanted me to eat borscht. I ate borscht every day for 10 days, and I never had it the same way twice. So this is one of my favorite ways, right? and I hope that you like it too, but we're going to start with some beef short ribs. All right. Virginia has some of the best beef on the planet. Nice farms everywhere. Good, good beef in Virginia. All right, uh, while this is browning off a little bit, I'm going to cut up some mushrooms. Mm -hmm. These are cremini mushrooms. Again, we, we try and keep what we use here as local as possible. Right? There's a company called Relay Foods that provides our products for us, and they focus on local foods. These are browning up nicely. I'm going to add a little bit more oil to this. And then I'm going to add some carrots. But I think I'll do the onions first. Let them sweat a little bit. I love that sound. It's a great sound. I'm going to add the carrots. And I'm going to add some celery and some parsnips and some turnips. And let that simmer around in there and cook. I'm going to peel this beet a little bit. Right. Just take my knife. I boil these in some water to get them just started and just run the knife down to get the skin off of it. I suggest if you're playing with beets, right, you go ahead and uh, use a towel you're not going to need for much else. Now I'm going to cut this up into smaller pieces. And in it goes. Stir that around. Try and keep all your vegetables about the same size so that they cook all at the same rate of speed. So you don't wind up with beets that are mushed out and carrots that are still raw. Now those are done. Stir this. And now we're going to add some stock. I'm going to go ahead and add my mushrooms. Just stir around and up. I'm going to add the chicken stock. Now this is going to sit here and simmer. It's going to take about an hour for this to get done. Right. And I'm going to give me a time to clean up. All right. uh, about halfway through, I'm going to add the cabbage. I don't want the cabbage too soon because I don't want it to, to fall apart. All right. And I'm going to take... I'm going to add the cabbage. I'm going to add this sprig of parsley and dill to it. We tie it together so we can pull it out so it's not in, a, in somebody's bowl. Right. But right now, I'm going to wait for this to come to a boil. And when it does, we'll come back. We've got our borscht on the stove here. It's a wonderful soup from Russia. This happens to be a Ukrainian recipe. Uh, but beautiful, rich beet f flavor, cabbage, turnips, all kinds of stuff in here. Now, while you were gone, I added the little sprigs of dill and parsley, and I added the cabbage, and then that cooked for a little while, and we're pretty much ready to dish this up. We're going to take this, we want to make sure that this person, whoever this is, is going to get some of this beef. Beautiful beef. All right. This is just gorgeous stuff. That wonderful color. 
There's that. Now we're going to take and add the final piece to that. All right. We're going to add a little sour cream right to the top. And we're going to add a little bit of chopped parsley. And if you want, you could add a sprig of dill, anything like that to it. And there we've got, look at this, beets all over my hands. Um, there you've got it, beef borscht. Wonderful recipe using good Virginia beets. And we'll see you next time when we play with more wonderful Virginia products at the heart of the home. Recipes from the heart of the home can be found on the Relay Foods website at RelayFoods.com.